Chapter 5. Ha ha. Oh no, no, no. Shout any. She read down to the bed until she reached Stanley Clear's bed. Here, here, she called. The wild beast followed her, the wild eye. Jack watched this relief as the swimmers changed their direction. Slowly, all the wild beasts swam where any stood. He waved them in a traffic policeman. Jack grabbed his backpack. Jack, any he cried, let's go before we get trampled. Keep it up, she shouted to the wild beast. As she took off after Jack, they ran further up in the river, away from the incoming wild beast. Finally, they saw to catch their breath. They looked back. Everything seemed fine. The wild beasts were scrambling safe over the riverbank. Soon they would get on the grass, prepared by a zebra. The zebra. Good work, Jack said, and he thanks. She said, "Okay, now we're however we don't know. We got to get clean." Said Jack, you look like a mouse. High bit laughter rang through the air. And the Chapter 3 Mini Sub. Mm, so the walking and mean. Jack and Anita uh, all around. They saw two spotted brown animals standing in the Tall grass. The creature has, but creature has body like dogs, but with but looping back. They love again. Ha ha! Said Nanny. You don't look so good yourself. Why are you? What a day, said Jack. He, he took out the book. He turned try not to get mud on it as he looked for a picture. There, then when he found it, he read aloud. On the Africa plain, the hyenas is the ruling predator after the lions. It makes that similar to high pressure similar. What does predator mean? said Annie. It means it catches things and eat them, said Jack. Uh, oh, said Annie. Yuck. The two hyenas laughed again. Then, and they moved closely to Jack and Annie. Quietly, Jack removed the hyenas uh, for begin to dig and cower. Let's see the cower, whispered Annie. They tried to scare them. The hyena laughed, laughed, and moved a little closer. How, said Jack, I act like a monster. And he said, Now! And Jack and Annie made terrible monster faces. And they put their heads and rushed at the hyena. Arrgh! They shout. And the hyena yelped and swallowed. Scary cats. And he shouted after them, Come on, said Jack. Annie and Jack took over the other direction. They ran around the bend to the river.
river. Jack and the hyena left there again. It sounded far away. Good, he said. They're gone. Hey, maybe we can watch it over there, said Annie. She pointed at the head of the forest. The small pond, surrounded by the toad, gerbera, and drinking the water. Yeah, said Jack. It is safe enough for them to drink, said Gerbera. The zebra in the day, them, they, they walk toward the pond. When they reach the head of the water, Jack set his heavy pack down in their grass. He glanced around. No lions were in sight. But then he heard something on the far side of the pond. Something very big coming out of the, out of the tree. Chapter six. The biggest man. Be still, said Jack. Jack and Annie stood frozen. An elephant stepped out of the shadow. It went into the pond and deep his trunk in the water. Oh, wow, said Annie. Jack burst the leaf. An elephant wasn't going to chase after the and eat them. Still, the elephant was huge. Let's sneak away, said Jack. But no, I want to watch. Said any fine, said then Jack, he tried from any to get sorry, sorry. I I am going to solve the riddle by myself. I'll meet you back at the tree house. He turned to go. A spare of water was down on him. It came from behind, he shouted with surprise and looked look back. <laughs> with surprise and looked back. The elephant trunk was for it. Cool, he said. He's giving me a shower. Elephant said again and again. The most lovely word of her face. Her brains, her shirt, her, her, her leg, and her sneakers. I guess the elephant doesn't like dirty kids. The elephant laughing. Her eyes were switched. Finally, she was clean and soaked with. Now it's our your turn, she said to Jack. Jack stepped forward and shut his eyes shut. Shut his eyes tight. And blood, a blood of water hit him. It did like really like a shower, a stone shower. When Jack was clean, the elephant let out a grunt and he started to splash himself with water. Thanks, said Annie. Yeah, thanks, said Jack. I speak his pen now, said Annie. When the sun dries on me out, I'll be like you, good, said Jack. Now we can be serious. He picked up the heavy pack. He had to figure out the answer to the riddle so we can leave this place before we do it. He looked around nervously. Where are the lions? He wondered. A small fur flower near his head. Hi, said Annie to the bird. Jack turned back. At to her. According, according to the reader, it we will for something golden sweet. What do you want? And he asked the bird. The bird twittered and flew around Jack and Annie. It's 
seen it when they were in Norway, but it had bright, happy manners. And he listened to me, not the bird, said Jack. The bird cavering around them, and he trying to tell something, said Danny. Jack let out a long time. You are doing me crazy today, said that she said. But I feel like she needs our help, he said. And he said, and he, maybe her bear baby is made out of the nest. And he, you can't say very animals in Africa, said Jack. This bird is important, said Annie. Trust me. The bird darted through the tree. It landed on the ground, crooked her head at them. She said, follow, said Annie. The bird added into the forest. Annie started after it. Don't go in there, said Jack. You might run into... No, no, I need to finish. The bird and Annie disappeared into the trees. Oh, stick on the lion. Lion. Jack said to him, oh, come on. And he cried. Jack moaned. He pulled in, in back and ran the pin, peanut butter jar and dump of it back. I'm going to open my